Hey everyone, today we're going to be making a braid and I've started this just by parting out a section of hair here on top of her head and then I've put the rest into a ponytail and then I've sprayed this hair that I grabbed on top down with quite a bit of water just so that we don't have flyaways. And you can really do this however you would like. If you'd rather do it in a full ponytail or a half ponytail, you can do that as well. But you're going to want to grab three strands with the section that you're working with and then you're going to start making just a regular braid. So I'm taking the strand on the left, I'm crossing it over the middle strand, and then I'm going to take the strand on the right and cross it over the middle strand. And then from here on out, before I take this outside strand and cross it over the middle, I'm going to remove a small strand from the outside, and she is going to hold that for me. And then I'm going to take it like I normally would and cross it over that middle strand. So same thing here on this side, before I cross it over, I'm removing a small strand of hair. She's going to hold it, and then I'm crossing it over the middle strand. And you want to repeat that until you have three strands out on each side. So starting here again on the left, I've removed a strand, crossing it over. Same thing here on the right. So that's two on each side. I'm going to remove one more on each side and then we're going to change it up a little bit. Okay, so now that I have my three on each side, I'm going to start the same way on this one. I'm removing a strand of hair, having her hold it. I'm going to cross this piece over and now before I move on to the other side, I'm going to take the strand that's on the top the first strand that I removed, take it out of her hand and then put it underneath those other three strands and add it in. And you don't want to pull this strand tight or it will kind of just disappear against this braid. You want to leave it pretty loose so that there's a loop there. Add it right in to that strand of hair that you're working with and now you're ready to work here again on the right side. So I'm removing a strand first, I'm crossing that middle strand over or the outside strand over, excuse me. I'm grabbing the strand on top, bringing it underneath, and then loosely adding it in. And you're just going to repeat that all the way down. So again, I'm removing a strand. I'm putting the strand over, grabbing a piece here from the top, and adding it in. The further down we go, this is going to create kind of a woven pattern with the strands that we're leaving out. If you don't like working with wet hair, you're probably going to need some type of pomade or gel to keep these strands separate and prevent flyaways. And I think the whole trick to this braid is keeping these strands loose because if you tighten them up you're not really even going to be able to see the pattern that you're trying to create. So I'm going to end ours about right here. And to finish this off, you've still got these extra pieces of hair hanging out. So instead of removing a piece this time and adding to that, I'm just going to cross it over and then grab that first strand and add it in. I'm going to continue that until we are out of this hair. And then for this very last strand, I don't think it really looks right to have it coming across like that. So what I've been doing is just bringing it underneath that strand right there and adding it in that way. Same thing on this side with that last strand, just bring it underneath. And then I'm going to just braid this down regularly a couple of times so that everything stays secure. So before I tie this off, I'm just going to fix some pieces that aren't laying right. And you don't need this perfect, but 
In my opinion, it just looks better if they're all kind of uniform. So if there's some pieces that are too tight, you can just go back through and kind of stretch them out. Okay, so now that I have it looking about how I want it to, I'm going to tie this off with a clear rubber band. So I removed the ponytail that was in her hair, and then we are just going to curl this hair underneath here, and we will be done.